Hi there, I'm glad to present you an early version of the gameplay prototype of Outcast. For those who haven't seen yet our project on Kickstarter, Outcast is an awesome action adventure that came out in 1999. We are the developers of the original game working today on this reboot. I also take this opportunity to thank all bakers for their support. You're really great. Keep talking about this project around you as much as you can. We really need your help. The game takes place in a parallel world called Adelpha. It's a planet located in a universe which exists alongside our home. The hero Catasled is a former Navy SEAL, and he was responsible for protecting two scientists and an exobiologist which were sent to Adelpha to locate and repair a damaged probe. Here is Catasled. As I said, this is the original model that we have integrated to get this functional demo. Here is an example of how detailed the face might look in the new version. Actually, you should expect the same level of quality for each character. Outcast is a true open world with six large regions to explore. For this demo, we will stay in the region called Shamazar. When released, it was one of the first games offering a true non-linear gameplay. You are not forced to go here or there, you can go everywhere, discuss with an inhabitant, and do the quest in any other. Or if you prefer, you can simply go straight away to fight a patrol of soldiers. Actually, they are tracking you to kill you. Adelpha is populated by several atypical creatures. As an example, here you can see a herd of wild Tuana. These creatures are peaceful herbivores that live in a herd dominated by one or more males. Like every creature in the game, their behavior is not scripted. Each individual has its own life cycle and reacts to various stimuli from the environment. Therefore, you will see them eat, drink, sleep or being intrigued by your presence. These ones are wild Tuana, but there are also tame Tuana that you can ride to go faster. What can you tell me about these Tonka? Tuanha, Rukai. Gazunta. No, Tuanha. They are the friendliest creatures in all of Adelpha. Each character oh, really? has a spoken dialogue yes. in English, French and German. All the languages are subtitled. In the new version, we will improve facial animation and lip sync for all How dialogues. How do I ride one of these Tuan Ha? Huh? Oh, I do not approve of any talent riding, my friends. It seems so, so wrong, do you not think? I really don't know, Zelinus. I never gave it much thought. I do all the time, seeing them work so hard, bringing them back when they look half dead from exhaustion. It makes me upset. Well, let's imagine that I would be nice to it. Oh, I trust you, Ulukai. I know that you would be kind to them. To ride one of my friends, you would simply show it its gi, approach them from the left side, and it will let you get on. And that's it? Yes, they are not like us. They trust so completely. So when I'm not riding it, what do I have to do? They will usually find a spot to eat or drink from. If you do not see it for a long time, you have only to come back to the village. They usually return to my loving arms. Nice image. Yikes. In Outcast, Cutter will have to fight the Fairrun's forces. 
Like other characters in the game, the behavior of the soldiers are driven by our multi-agent AI system called Gaia. For the new version, we plan to still use Gaia, but the behaviors will be more realistic, since the locomotion will be largely improved to support more physics, constraints and procedural animation. Keep in mind that this is a really early prototype, we are still using the whole 3D model with the whole animation, and we haven't yet implemented the special effect related to the weapon impact or explosion. Here is a sketch showing how the soldier might look in the new version. You can see on the top left of the screen that uh, we also rendered the game with the old voxel engine.